Hi, hello everyone. So myself Kalyan. So I am having my plus experience in big data. So today I will be talking about Apache Hadoop 1.2.1 initialization in Ubuntu. So for that free request will be so you need to have the Ubuntu software system in your machine and Java is required and SSH is required and as well as Hadoop Tarball is required. So I'll just go with step by step execution one by one and before I go with the exact processor so let me talk about what is Apache Hadoop first it's providing features. So Apache Hadoop is a framework it's having a two major components are SDFS and MapReduce. The goal for SDFS is solve, storing the data and the goal for MapReduce is processing the data. So SDFS itself is the meaning is Hadoop distributed file system. MapReduce it's a functional programming model it's intentionally done for distributed parallel processing so let me start the, the first part of the pre-request what are the pre-requests are required and as well as Apache Hadoop what are the types of modes of installation it's supporting so Apache Hadoop it supports three types of installations one is local mode other one is pseudo distributed mode other one is fully distributed mode so the local mode and pseudo distributed mode intentionally done for developers and testing purpose and fully distributed mode is intentionally done for like a production purpose. So today we are going to installing the pseudo distributed mode installation using the VirtualBox virtual box along with the Ubuntu. So the pre-request for this one is Java. So we need to install it. So that can be 1.6 version or 1.7. It's anything is feasible. So the command to install the Java in Ubuntu is sudo apt iPhone get install open JDK iPhone 6 iPhone JDK for Java 1.6. sudo apt iPhone get install open JDK iPhone 7 iPhone JDK. This is for Java 1.7 open JDK installation. So this is the command we are going to install. We are going to do execute also as part of the Java installation. And after completion of the Java installations, we need to have one more pre-request for Hadoop installation is SSH. So for that installation command is sudo apt iPhone get install SSH. So these are the commands first I'll be going to be executing. Once that is completed, so I'll be going to downloading the Apache Tarball from the, the given link. That's a version number is Hadoop iPhone 1.2.1 version so I'll be going to executing as part of the today discussion so let me proceed till here one by one so I'll be opening my virtual box which is having the Ubuntu so I'll be logging with a user called Kalyam so I'm providing my password to log in there yes so now I have log into the Kalyan user. So first thing I am going to creating one user called Orinity. In that user, I will be going to installing the Hadoop. So you can create any user easily. So please follow the steps to create a user. So I will be going to the right corner of the VM and going for an option called system settings. So once I choose the system settings option, the last option will be user and accounts. So clicking on the user accounts, then I need to unlock on the this one. So for this, it will prompt you the current user administrator password. So I'll be giving my administrator user password. Now the window is going to coming in a lock mode. So once it is available in this mode, then you are allowed to add the users, you are allowed to delete the users. For adding the users, click on the plus button. Then choose the type of the user is either administrator or standard. So if you just want to do like any admin role space, better to choose administrator. Otherwise you can go with the standard also. So I will be going to create a user name is Orion IT. So I'll choose my full name Orinity and username is Orinity. I'll click on create. Now the user is created with the role is administrator. So for this user, you just need to add the password means click on the account disable. Then it will ask you the password for that. So you can type your password. For the verification purpose, you can always go for the show password. The initial password and confirmation password both are same. Then click on change. Now for this account, the password is set. That will be the Orinity. 
so you can do the same thing from the command line also so how to set the password to the user so first click on the terminal it will be going to open a terminal to you current username for me is orinati and the host name is orinati so first you need to give a command is sudo so to becoming as a super user it will ask you the current user password provide the current user password then you are the root user once you are in the root user you can go for sudo pass wd orient it so here sudo is not a mandatory now because already you are in the root user but it's the best practice to go with sudo command sudo pass wd orient it then it will ask you the orinate user password you want to set that one suppose previously I given as orinate user now i want to change that one i can always change it so i will give the new password i will confirm that one it simply says like you know password is updated once it is updated come out from the root user with the exit command you want to close this terminal go by the command called exit so just right now what I have done is I just created one user called Orinity. I set the password through window and as well as through terminal. So now what I'm going to do is like a, as part of this initialization. So I'll be switching to the Orinity user. I'll be going to install in the pre-request. Then I'll be going to install in the Hadoop. So for the first step is switching to the user. I'll just maximize the window for visualization purpose. Now it looks good so let's log into the user call orinati by clicking on the last left right corner one and go for a option call orient it so now we need to provide the password of the orinati so what we have given as part of the creation now i am in the orinati user so go to the dash home to open a terminal type terminal here to make a shortcut you can do drag and drop now escape is to exit from here now i will open the terminal so you can always see the first one is the username second one is the host name so my host name is kalyan so how i can confirm that one is by giving a command is host name so now the pre-request for the our hadoop is java is the java is installed or not you can confirm by the command is java iphone version so if it is not installed it will give like an option to you so at any point of time you want to install any software the basic command will be sudo apt iphone git install and selected package so today i'll be going to installing the open jdk 1.6 version so for that the command is sudo apt iphone git install open jdk iphone 7 iphone jdk so this is the command to install the open jdk 7 version 1.7 version so once I enter this one, it will prompt you the current user password. He is the administrator. So you can provide the password, then say next. So now it is asking like, okay, I need to download 109 MB of the data. For that, I need to press Y. So whenever you go with this command, you should be connected to network. So right now I am in the network. So you can able to see my connection details also. So I am in the network now my ip address everything is displaying here so now let's proceed with the com execution is y so it will download the data from the internet and it is going to be installing for you so it may take bit time depends on your network speeds right now it is taking for me approximately saying like a two to four minutes let's wait for those many minutes If you want to install the Java 1.6 version, means you can give a command is sudo apt get install 
open jdk iphone 6 iphone jdk this is the command for open jdk so now it is downloading 74 percent let's wait for one more minute to complete and suppose i don't want all these shortcuts i'll just unlock it So I want one editor is text editor, it's just like a notepad in the windows, you can do the drag and drop, so now java 1.7 is installed, so it's giving like a clearly now it is the take a place, so you can clear the screen and after that you can again execute the previous command what is we given for the verification is java space iphone version so then it is going to showing the current version of the java is 1.7.0.0 underscore so now java is installed now second prerequisite for adobe installation is ssh further the command is sudo apt iphone gate install ssh so now this time it is going to ask the srno again so we need to say s to download and install it it won't take much time because it is very small amount of data it will be going to install quickly now so ssh also is in install in your machine now so now the pre request is like a java is installed and as well as ssh is installed so now go for the next option is downloading the apache tarball from the apache website the simple processor is you can go to the browser you can type apache mirrors so it will give you the list of websites like where we have to download it okay so now the here the generally the first one is the suggestible one you can click on that one but now it is pointed to the apache lucene but we want only the apache hadoop so for that you can remove in the top list the lucene onwards in the browser now execute it so this is the common repository now you can click on any one of the site it's always give the best site in the first link itself so now you will be having a like a apache all the software here so go for ctrl f hadoop you will be having the hadoop folder here click on the hadoop folder now you'll be having a chukwa common core go for the core so here the list of stable releases are there so if you are going to install the latest version of the hardware 2.6.0 you can go for that one but currently we are installing the stable version of hardware 1.2.1 that is a stable one now download the tarball that is hadoop ifan 1.2.1 tar.gz save this file it is taking farming around one minute Yes, now it is completed so the stuff is we install the pre request for the hardware base java and as well as ssh and we download the hardware tarball from the apache mirrors also the next step is let's go to the home folder this is the home folder click on this home folder and in this home folder you can create your own directory so whatever you want to create it 
suppose I want to create a Venn diagram called Kalyan then right click on here create a folder called Kalyan so now go to the Kalyan folder now copy the tarball from your downloads folder to here so Ubuntu is give you option to tab support you can use the tab copy this tarball to your Kalyan folder now once the copy is completed you can right click on the tarball you can simply say extract here now your Hadoop tarball is now extracted so let's enter into the Hadoop 1.1.1.2.1 folder so in this 1.2.1 folder so we will be having the main folder is configuration folder go to the con folder so in this con folder the main files you have to take it as part of the sudo mode or cluster mode installation is core site.xml sdfsite.xml mapresite.xml masters slaves hadoop bnv so these are the six files mainly will be going to install in the hadoop configurations for the basic setup let me open all these files by right click on this and go open with text data let's maximize the window so now please everyone observe here so inside the my course at xml i will be having one configuration tab is open and it is ended and when we go for the hadoop nv there are hadoop related and java related properties are set here and third one is hdfsi.xml just simply configuration tab is open configuration tag is ended map right side simply configuration tag is open and ended and coming to the masters and slaves both the files we are having one keyword called localhost generally when we will use localhost is if you are in the network if you are not in the network any operating system will provide a one host name is localhost and IP address will be 127.0.0.1 Generally this masters and slaves files will be going to give either localhost or 127.0.0.1 if we are not in the network in a pseudo mode. If we are in the network we can provide the IP address or as original host name. How will you find your original host name is by giving a command called host name. So let me execute that command. host name so my current machine host name is Kalyan it's up to the installation time you have to set it or else later you can also change this one okay so let's open the ppt what are the main steps we have to write inside the core cited xml mapper cited xml and hdf cited xml let me see it from the ppt and i'll come back to the installation part So after completing the pre-request installation of the Java and SSH and downloading the tarball, let's go for the next step is setting the environment variables. Just a second, I'll just pause for one second. Yes, let's continue. So the stuff we have to take it after that is we need to set the environment variables. So now I have installed the Java so I need to set that one so I am going to install the Hadoop so I need to set that one and as well as any operating system will contain one variable called path these are the three environment variables I have to set it so currently I will be installing my Hadoop in the Orinity user so for that one I need to give a one command is opening the environment file is gedit space tilde slash dot bash rc this is the command will help you to open the 
dot bash file which is there in the your current user home folder then after that end of the file add the, the, the below three lines what i have written here so first one is exporting the java home where exactly it is locating and second one is exporting the hadoop underscore home where you are interested to install the hadoop and third one is exporting the path so adding the java home bin folder adding the hadoop home bin folder along with the path once this thing is completed in the bassrc file changes please save that file and close the terminal once that is completed so we need to go for the configurations as per the configurations for the sudo mode configuration is the six files the first file will be the core iphone site.xml it is there in the hadoop home conf folder so what is the content we need to write in that core site.xml the default one is so there is one property tag is there and it is ended this property contains the name and value what is the name of the property is fs.default.name the importance of this property will be where exactly your name node is going to be installing on which mission and which port so currently i'll be installing my name node in the local host that means current mission itself and i'll be going to running in the port is v8020 you can define your own port but only the condition will be that port should be the free port in your mission so this is the major property inside the core iphone site.xml and along with this we'll be having if one more file is sdfs iphone site.xml the goal for this site will be like a conferring the sdfs related properties and here we are conferring the one other property is dfs dot replication how do by default come with the replication factor is three so now if i am running in a single mission is i can make the maximum replication is only one why because if i make a duplicate copy if i make the replication vector is two means it means to make a duplicate copy maintaining the same copy in the same machine there is no use for that purpose hadoop given a minimum replication for you is one the default is three maximum is five twelve okay so current replication vector how much i'm giving is one the property name is dfs dot replication and the value is one this is inside the sdfs iphone site dot xml and the third property file will be mapred iphone site.xml so in this mapred iphone site.xml i need to take care of adding the one of the property is mapred.job.tracker the intention of this property is where job tracker has to run in which machine it has to run and as well as the corresponding port for that so i'll be saying like i want to run in the local host that means the current mission and the port will be 8021 so what are the ports i have taken in the hd course in xml and as well as my presented xml these ports are the default ports the general questions people will ask in the interview also what is the default rpc port for the name node the answer will be 8020 what is the default rpc port for the map right side map job tracker so for that one answer will be 8021 so those configurations only i have taken here it's free to change there is no restriction you have to go with only these ports and after this we'll be having a one more main file is hadoop en hadoop iphone env.sh the intention for this is we have to set the java environment variables and as well as hadoop environment variable and java properties hadoop related properties so currently we are setting the one of the main property for the hadoop initialization is java home where exactly java is installed so currently when i give like a command sudo space apt iphone get space install space open jdk iphone 7 jdk whenever i give in this command the java is going to be installing in the default path will be user lib jvm this is the common folder and inside that it's going to coming like okay, the folder name will be java iphone 1.7.0 iphone open jdk sometimes it may give the path will be java iphone 1.7.0 iphone open jdk iphone i386 rs iphone amd64 what is the reason for this one is if you are using the ubuntu version is maybe 64 bit it will be going to come like a java iphone 1.7.0 iphone open jdk iphone amd64 
if you are using the 32 bit version of the ubuntu means it will be going to come like a java iphone 1.7.0 iphone open jdk iphone i 386 so please make sure that verify that one when we are going to configuring the hadoop env file so let me proceed till here in our virtual box also so now i'll be entering into my virtual box I'll just come into the full screen. So now, first step is updating the Hadoop environment variables, Java environment variables in the bash.rc file. For that, the command will be gedit tilde slash dot bashrc. This is the command you should execute in the normal user only. Please make sure that everyone verify is it the normal user or not. If you are done in the root user means that will be not applicable to the current user. So please make sure that execute this command. So now it is open a file to you. Go to the end of the file. Control end. Provide some spaces. Now please start writing the thing what we have written in our PPT also. The first one is export java underscore home equal to user lib jvm. Now inside this I ask you to just verify it, confirm it is what exactly the path is there. User lib jvm ls so currently i will be having the open jdk iphone amd 64 because of my ubuntu is the 64 bit if it is 34 bit means iphone i3 cities will come now what other path i have got in the ppt i want to follow that one means i need to make sure that copy that one so for that i will be going to give a command is sudo cp iphone r java iPhone 1.7.0 this one Java iPhone 1.7.0 this one make sure that I remove the last words so this is the command if I execute it it will ask the password provide your password now type ls you will be having the whatever the expected folder you have it so now make sure that copy this one add it to the your bashrc file this is what we have to take care of it offline or else we need to go with the ifn md64 it's up to you there is no issue in the both the place now the next one is export hadoop underscore home equal to so where exactly we have extracted the hadoop tarball go to that folder and take the folders of the hadoop so now inside my home kalyan inside this i'll be having the hadoop 1.2.1 folder right click on this folder go for the properties this is the parent path of that fan and having a subdirectory is this one so take care of this one then slash take the path of the folder then close it this is what the second step for adding the hadoop underscore home now third one is export sorry path now here we need to make sure that dollar java underscore home slash small bin colon is the separator dollar hadoop underscore home slash small bin again dollar path this is what we have to add inside the dot bashrc file once this is completed save this file and close it now go to the terminal and make sure that close the terminal and reopen it now verify it whatever the variables you have set in the dot bashrc file is it reflecting or not how we can verify it there is a command call echo space dollar java 
underscore home. This will tell you where exactly your Java is pointing. And similarly, next command will be echo dollar Hadoop underscore home. This will tell you where exactly you are going to install the Hadoop. This is the base part for the before Hadoop installation. Once you've done these two these changes, the next one is updating the configuration files as we discussed in the PPT. So let's go step by step one. Now I'll be going with the first file is core site.xml. This is intentionally done for configuring the core properties of Hadoop. So what are the core properties? Name node, we have to configure it. So for that purpose, inside the between the configuration open tag, configuration end tag, we have to start writing that file. So I'll be writing the my property tag, property open tag same property tag you have to end it for that purpose we just need to type this one so this is the first part now inside the property tag so we need to have a one more tag called name and again closer name and we need to have a one more property called value and one more is slash value this is the basic thing it should be there in the core site now what is my property name property name will be fs dot default dot name make sure that there is no extra spaces that means close the end tag there only and similarly the value will be sdfs colon double slash colon double slash local host colon 8020 make sure there is no extra spaces so this is the property we have to add it just make sure for alignment purpose you can do the tab that is a best approach so now we have added one property inside the course red xml is purposes where exactly name node has to run and which rpc port it has to run so here instead of the local host i can configure 127.0.0.1 colon 8020 so both are accepted right now i am going with the local host and similarly the next one as per the open order is hadoop env so we need to make sure that adding the java underscore home here so you can clearly see the document also what it is saying java implementation to use it's a required so for this i will just uncomment this one because in the script the comment will be the hash i'll uncomment that one now i will add the java underscore home opposite path that will be user lib jvm slash java iPhone one dot seven dot zero iPhone open JDK. So this is the path we have configured inside the dot bash file also. But make sure that you have to configure here also. So once we have configured the Hadoop ENV file, the next file as per the order is SDFS site. So here also we need to make sure that add the property. So I will be taking the values from the course red xml i will modify the data so i have taken the properties from the core site xml so i'll be updating my property name so what is the property name we have to write here is dfs dot replication that means how much replication you have to set for the your hardware so by default is three but this 3 is not correct when we are running in the local mode make sure that the value is 1 so this is the point like a, how many replications you have to set here okay so you can make maximum 512 values but in pseudo mode you can go with maximum 1 is the reliable answer okay now once you added the sdfs red xml dfs dot replication factor value 1 switch to the next property is mapped site and here also take the property from the core site update the <coughs> property name 
So what is the property name here? Mapred site.xml is mapred dot job dot tracker. Where exactly you need to run the map reduce? So the value what we need to write here is localhost colon eight zero two one. I can't use the eight zero two zero. Why? Because already that is going to using by the name node. So make sure that give the different port other than the eight zero two zero. That will be we are giving as here eight zero two zero eight zero two one. At any point of time, you want to know what the ports are running or in your machine is. You can go by the netstat. There is a command is there netstat to verify what are the ports are rightly running in the your machine. So now the major changes are we are done like the four files. Once this is completed, you can just verify inside the master's file local host is there or not. Inside the slaves also it's there or not. Why? Because so master's file is purpose is configuring the secondary name node. So I'll be saying like I want to configure the my secondary name node in the local host. That means current machine itself, and as well as I'll be going to configuring the my slaves. What are the slaves are data node task trackers because Hadoop having a five demands. What are the five demands are name node, data node, secondary. Secondary name node, job tracker, task tracker. So here, the first three things are belongs to SDFS. So what is SDFS? Is Hadoop Distributed File System, and the last two properties are belongs to Map Reduce. The purpose of MapReduce is distributed parallel processing. It's a functional programming model. So now, once we configure the Hadoop properties, so then once we start the Hadoop, it should start the SDFS process names and as well as MapReduce process names. Okay. So for that, there are some few comments are there. Let me open the PPT and we'll continue from there. So now, after configuring till here, so the next part here, like if whenever we are going to starting the Hadoop, it will ask you the prompt actually to prompt the password actually. So it will ask you the three times the password. Okay. So now you want to disable that one. You want to make sure like a disable your password means we can go for the the below steps like what we have given here. The first thing is like a password is disabled or not in your machine. You can go by the command is ssh space localhost. So for this execution of this command, the prerequisite will be ssh has to be installed. That is already we installed as part of the prerequisite installation. So now first let me verify like a, this ssh is, is installed or not, and if it is installed, is the password is disabled or not? And if it is not disabled, so how to disable the password is the below these two commands. What is the first command is it will generate a keyzen for you without password and it will be having the one file will be going to create for you inside your home dot sh folder id underscore dsa and one more file will be id underscore dsa dot pub and to disable the password for daily we need to make sure that copying the id underscore dsa dot pub file as a authorized case for that we will go for the cat command so let me execute all these three commands one by one to confirm it like a password is disabled or not if it is not disabled how to disable it okay then. Yes. the first thing is i need to verify the password is disabled or not for that the command will be ssh local host the connecting secure cell sh means secure cell so we are securely connecting to the local host mission if the password is disabled it won't ask the password but whenever you use the first time of sh command it always ask you the s or no only this is the one time of your system then type yas 
now it is asking the password the meaning is we are not disable the password we have to provide our password then we have to enter it once you given a proper password it will enter into the the user card local user host name is local host now so how we can disable the password for that we have a command called ssh hyphen keyzen then after that dsa the command is here hyphen t dsa this entire command okay let me copy from here to avoid the typing mistake yes okay sorry i think it's not enable the copy let me type it ssh keyzen hyphen t dsa is the algorithm minus p empty password then after that we need to give the path of the file so iphen f then path of the file will be tilde slash dot ssh id underscore dsa tilde iphen f space tilde slash dot ssh slash id underscore D is this is the command we have to press it now it will generate a case in for you so once this command is completed next command is cat cat tilde slash dot ssh slash id underscore dsa dot pub now same thing we have to store it as a slash tilde slash dot ssh slash authorized underscore case this command will take care of that one sorry so i have to use the double append here this is the command full command so you can see the command in the in this ppt also cat space tilde slash dot ssh slash id underscore dsa dot pub then double greater than symbol then space tilde slash dot ssh slash authorize underscore case now once executed this one so we need to confirm it the password is disabled or not how we can confirm it ssh space local host now this time it's not asking the password that is the thing we have right now we have done okay so disabling the password securely once it is disabled so we need to make sure that starting and stopping the hard up but generally if you start the hard up immediately now it is not going to start the name node why because right now we are having only the ubuntu file system but make sure that we need to create a sdfs file system on top of the ubuntu for that we will be having a one command call hadoop name node hyphen format this is the command formatting the name node that means what if the sdfs file system is there it is going to be formatting if it is not there it is going to create for you so this command you have to execute only one time so let me press enter now it is saying like a, it is formatted let's maximize the screen now let's give it again suppose it always prompt you like a are you going to reformat don't say why you have to say always n here because if you say yes it is going to be reformatting that means if you have a data in a pen drive if you done a format it's going to delete the entire data the same thing is going to happen here so make sure that don't do y you have to do n now once it is formatted the next command is we need to start the hadoop so we can start the hadoop by giving a start iphone all dot sh this command will start the all the hard process but i want to start only sdfs then the command will be dfs dot sh let me execute first command is start iphone dfs dot sh 
the place everyone observing the console messages starting the name node starting the data node starting the secondary name node is it really started or not you can always confirm with jps jps is a linux command to tell you like a what are the java processor running in a machine so when i start start ifn dfs.ss command it is starting the three process one is data node name node secondary name node. that is the sdfs components related process now let me start the map reduce also for that we'll be having a command is start ifn mapread.sh so it will take care of starting the two process one is job tracker other one is task tracker so now it is started job tracker here and one more is task tracker so let's clear the screen and verify jps all the five process are running or not can everyone see now here so job tracker is running dead on road is running and node is running second element is running trust tracker is running that is what we just documented as part of here also the three process belongs to sdfs two process belongs to map reduce so that means like a, what are the process has to run all are running it perfectly now so you want to make sure that stop it so then you can go by command is stop dfs dot SS for stopping the name node, data node, secondary name node. Now it is stopped it, verify it. Now only job tracker, task tracker is running along with the Java process. Now how to stop the mapred also? Stop I find mapred.sh. it is stopping the job tracker and as well as task tracker yes let's confirm it jps now no process is running it so this is the one way approach to like a starting the in like a group of the process now i want to start everything for that we have a command is start ifn all dot sh okay so now when you are starting it and stopping it so you know need to do format always remember that one because some people will execute the format when you're executing a format always prompt you yes or no second time onwards you have to press only no so later onwards no need to execute it so now i'll be executing only the command is start ifn all dot ss to start all five process what are the all five processor name node data node secondary name node job tracker task tracker is it really running or not you can go by the command is jps it will list out all the java process which are running as part of the hardware okay so this is my secondary name node process id is this one this is my data node process id is this one this is the name node process id is this one this is the java process and job tracker process id task tracker process id these are the only the process ids but when we go for like a so hadoop is all processor going to running in the in your machine so when it is running it there will be particular ports will be there so the port for the name node rpc port is 8020 and the port for the job tracker is 8021 the rpc port is for you is this one and there is no rpc port for secondary there is no rpc port for this one and port for this one is 8021 and port for this one is nothing let's make it align yes now along with the rpc we'll be having one more port is http so what are the http ports for name node is 50070 data node is 50075 secondary name node is 500 Nine zero. For job tracker is five double zero three zero, and this one is five double zero six zero. 
these are the ports are very useful in real time to verify what exactly the data is there in the name node data node secondary name node job tracker task tracker so now my hadoop is running it i just want to open the my name node information for that we'll be having a parallel http colon local host 50070 why 50070 is because of it is running in the 50070 if i want to open the job tracker 50030 let me open these two urls in the browser just open the browser just paste and enter so can you please everyone see now so my name node is running it and running in the current mission and the rpc port is h020 this is what we configured in the course related xml and when exactly i have started is this is the particular time and what is the current version of the hadoop i'll be using is 1.2.1 so you'll be having some more informations in this list also but just for the showing purpose i just i have shown you this file one more information you can meet me in the orinity also so now let me open the one more URL is 50030. So this is the job tracker URL. It will be going to show like a job tracker information and job informations to you here. Okay. So now suppose I want to see like a HDFS data. There is an option called browse the file system. If you click on the browse the file system, it will be going to list out the file system for you. The by default, there is one path is given here is the slash TMP. Okay. So now let's transfer the data from your local mission to HDFS. For that, Hadoop is given some basic commands. You want to know the Hadoop file system commands is the basic command you have to remember is first Hadoop. So when you type Hadoop and you enter it, it will list out the what are the commands are supported after Hadoop. So just for the transferring the data from your local machine to HDFS or HDFS to local machine. So we need to go for the one command call. This is the FS. Run a generic file system as a user client. So let me give that, that command now. So that command is Hadoop space FS. This will be having a list of so many options for your command okay so now i'll be going to talk about the one of the command is put mkdar ls these commands let me talk about now suppose i want to know what are the files are there in my linux i can go by the ls but same thing you want to know it in the hadoop data the ls is not the command the command is hadoop fs if an ls then we need to mention the path of the data so right now in our slash slash is this directory what is the folder and what are the files are there only slash tmp so when i press this one it will display the same thing for you so there is what slash tmp now suppose i want to create a directory in the linux we have a command is mkdr make directory the same thing we can execute in the hadoop also the command is hadoop fs mkdir i want to create one directory called kalyan so let me create this one now it is created verification you can go by the ls command so can you see the difference now so there is a slash tmp in the previous command but now it is showing slash tmp as well as slash kalyan so you can always observe these things from the browser also when you refresh this one you can able to see the kalyan when it is created also so now inside the Kalyan, there is no data. So I want to transfer the data from my local machine to HDFS. So for that, we have a command is Hadoop FS hyphen put slash etc hos. This is the one file is there. And I don't want to transfer only one file, just like a control command. I want to transfer two files at a time to my Kalyan directory. I can go by this command. It's not only for one file or one folder, it can be collection of files and folders also. It's supported by the command is put. Transferring the data from your local machine to HDFS. I will execute this command. Now it is saying like it's done. Verify it. Can you see now? So this data you want to click on here. You can show the content also here. This is the command for make directory after that put command. I want to read the data. 
so that is the place we will go for the command is cat i want to read the data inside my kalyan directory so the only h4 sts file i'll go with this command so i want to read only the h4 sts file it's fine but i want to read the host name is i'll go with this i want to read both the things then i will say star it will read both the things now so can you see now the first file kalyan is came because of the host name as per the sequential order and second one is came the entire data that means what this is like a linux kind of command support the regular expressions also that's what we have to clear it so now till here is like a all the hadoop data you have verified all the process running or not you have verified but this is the only the learning practice in real time if you done only these properties only this much of initialization this is not correct so i will show you the issue right now what we have configured okay so for that let me stop it first so once i stop the data my browser data i am able to access or not i'll show it i'll start again i'll show it then i will going to show the exact issue in real time if you follow only this much it's saying one by one down stopping it yes let's confirm it jps now no process can you verify is this browsers are working now it's not working the reason is we have stopped it now let's start again yes jps is all processor running it now correct yes let's open the browser refresh it it's came back and refresh it it's not came back the reason is it please read the message here okay so there is a concept called safe mode right now what it is saying is name node is in safe mode once it is in a safe mode you can't be take it so safe mode has to be turned off automatically so by default time for to safe mode to turn off is 30 seconds once it is completed you should able to do this one okay wait for 30 seconds and refresh it it's done it's came back correct yes so now that means once i stop it once i start it is there any data loss for me here there is no data loss okay i should able to access my kalyan folder i should able to access this one but if you follow this approach so i'll show you the issue i will stop my hardo because i'm a learner i just stopped it Yes, it's completed. JPS verified. Nothing is running it. So why? Because in real time, so you should know like what are the kind of common issues will be there. How to troubleshoot that one also. So right now the issue is we started, stopped it, and we verified the data. Everything is working fine. Now let me restart the mission. That means like I will close my VMware. I'll again launch my VMware. Let's do that one. Let me say like a shut down first. This is a very very important point. Everyone has to remember. So I'll be just shutting down my VM now. It's just like a shutting down the your normal box, normal box. Now it is done. I shut down it. Okay, but actually I think it's logged into the other user. 
are done fully. Take example about the other user, multi user. So we have to share down clearly. If not, close this view where part of the mission. Yes. So now let's make a action call again start. This will take a bit time. So meanwhile just recall the points what we discussed through PPT also. So we disable the password. Then after that, so we just given it the first command is Hadoop name node iPhone format to format the Hadoop distributed file system. If you want to start only Hadoop HDFS DMX, the command we given is start iPhone DFS dot sh. You want to start only map reduce miss, we have given a command is start iPhone map dot sh. You want to start all the commands miss, we given a command is start iPhone all dot sh. So similarly to the opposite commands we have seen is stop dfs.ss, stop mapper.ss, stop all.ss, correct? So these are the commands we have verified it. And after this, we just open the browser, localhost call and 50070 for the name node. We open the browser for the job tracker, 50030 is for the job tracker. So once these two things are completed, we're just going with the, some basic commands are how to fs iphen ls slash the path we have to give that is path should be sdfs. The same way we have given a one more command is like a mkdr make directory. That is a command for like a listing creating a one directory inside the sdfs. And after that we give any put command to transfer the data from local mission to sdfs so here table dot indicates it can be a folder or file can be multiples so this is the commands we have given okay so let's me come back to the our vm so what is the issue we are going to identify now let me show it now it is restarted let me enter my password i'll go there Yes. So now let's see here. So I'll be clicking on the terminal. I'll verify my JPS. Definitely there is no Hadoop here because we are not started. Now let me give a command called start iPhone all dot sh. Yes. So it's saying all the process are started. Verify with JPS. Cool. All are started? No. One process is not started. Can you even see here? Which process is our name node is not started? This is the issue with the approach what we have followed. The reason is the by default pass for the Hadoop name node metadata and data node data will be there in the slash tmp so because of that that folder now deleted when you restart it so make sure that don't go by the only the default values which are configured in the core side so in real time to solve this issue we need to make sure that one extra property has to be added in the Hadoop home con folder co side dot xml okay what are the property we added this guarantees that in that session it will be like a Hadoop is perfect will run but once you restart your Hadoop it is not going to run all the process okay the reason is name node data is deleted to solve this one right now in this user is you have to make sure that format the name node again but this is not correct approach so once you done this one when you give a again start iphone all.ss command your name node will start but this is not the current approach. Why? Because if you do like this every time when you restart your system formatting the name node, you will lose the data. So can you see now everyone now here? The job tracker I am able to access it. 
but let's verify the 500 url go for the browse file system can you see the kalyan folder now it's not there so the issue is the metadata is deleted to fix this one let's stop the hadoop first Let us start bring one by one. Yes. So now it is stopped it. So now if you restart again your machine, you will lose the data. So to avoid that one, what are the steps we have to follow is so inside the core set at XML, add a one more property. what is that property is dfs dot tmp dot dir this is the property we have to add it now this will be by default slash tmp but i don't want that fun so i will make sure that i will add the my home urinity user kalyan folder hadoop data folder now what is a guarantee from this step is like a hundred percent whatever the data you are storing in the sdfs now it will be available once you restore it also why because this folder won't be deleted automatically when you restart it but the default path like a slash tmp will automatically be going to be deleted okay this is the fix for this now let's confirm this fix is it correct or not and whenever you done these changes make sure that first time you have to format it okay so now the command is how to name node iphone format okay oh sorry for this okay so we done only the dfs system directory okay so let me confirm it like one second The property name is wrong. It's a Hadoop dot m dot directory. That is a mistake. You can go by the all the properties always in the core default. The corresponding one will be the core side. The path what is there right now here? Slash tmp. This is not the correct path. Okay. So now do the command again. Now it won't show you the uses like this. Correct? Yes. If you do it again it will prompt you like a yes or no make sure that no now i will start my hadoop i'll verify it it's everything is running fine verify through browser it's running fine here verify this one also running fine go for browse file system now you will be having a home folder here it's not the slash tmp remember that one so now here let me execute the previous commands or do fs slash kalyan you can able to see the kalyan folder now now the next command will be or do fs iphone port slash etc h4s slash etc h 4 stnmv slash kalyan now you can go and verify these two files are there at the time of this file now let's confirm it what we discussed is it correct or wrong by stopping and restarting the mission then 100 percent your data will be secure now okay that is what we have to confirm it now stop it first JPS no Hadoop close this VM power off it 
again go to the VM and start it. So now log into the Hadoop or you need to use a yes now it is up if I GPS nothing is running go for start all command now last time when you restart it, it is not started the name node. Now let's verify name node is running or not. It's running. You verify through the browser also. Is your data is safe or not now? Browse file system. Can you see here there is an option called safe mode it will turn off automatically 30 seconds if you can wait for 30 seconds then it is going to be turned off ten more seconds seven seconds five three two one go browse file system kalyan folder the files are available now that is the important things okay so please make sure that everyone so what are the steps you are learning as part of the hard installation every property importance will be you need to know it that's what the as a hardware developer admin has to be clear okay so now so hope you enjoyed here till here so you want some more important properties as part of the hardware installation like a tuning the hardware how I can make it my Hadoop is better and you form a cluster or like a, what are the troubleshooting techniques we have to learn as part of the Hadoop initiation whenever the issue is occurred. The previously we have seen like one issue is occurred. I said like clearly name does not happen. But way to verify it, all these things everyone has to familiar. So for this more information you can always touch with me. So my blog, blog will be the Kalyan Hadoop training. You can simply type Kalyan Hadoop in your Google okay i think right now i was not in a connected to network let me connect it first yes so now when you go for like a kalyan how to your google the first few links is mine only you can go with blindly the my web blog You can go for the our labels, what are the things I have given here. You can go for administration. There are so many topics I have written as part of the my blog. So if anyone is going for the interview, if anyone is interested to learn map radios and what learn or all these kind of things I have clearly written like a one by one. So anyone is feel free to put a comments on here. I'll be there to reply it for you. Okay. So this is the blog for me and we'll be having one website is big data training hyderabad.com this is the place if anyone want to go for like a certification so i'll be giving like an online certification for you you can go for the Hadoop certification option here and you can try it you can go for like a basic things also okay let me show it here this is the one you can try it or register it it's up to you though if you register it like you'll get a full access to for the certification also the people who might be got the top scores always you can verify it here so our students will get like his top scores we will be showing here also if anyone want to get a more things also you can always will be having articles are there here so this is what like a one of the source for you at any point of time you can take a online mock test okay and you can go and touch with here like a going for the interview questions everything like a in this place so let's hope enjoyed here so let me see the ppt like at the last slides what we have it so hope you enjoyed it so you can go for the blog or website the given links here 
and anything you want to talk to me like a through personally you can always come to the our variety office in hyderabad amirpet and you can talk to me so hope you enjoyed thank you